and a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're getting ready for a quarter-final second leg match in the Champions League. It's Fenerbahce facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, how good were Dortmund in that first leg? They were absolutely outstanding. Their attacking play was a joy to watch, but they need to stay focused today, though. The 4-4-2 system relies on good combinations all over the pitch. The front two, the central midfield pairing, the full-back and winger, and of course the centre-backs. If you can get these combinations right, you'll have a good team. the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund well it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today will they stay high and wide will they come in field and support the centre forward and how deep will they come out of possession they're going to be key to this formation the Champions League quarter-final second leg commences Couldn't keep it. He's going forward well here. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. Trying to deliver it accurately. No problems grabbing hold of that one. Well, given the recent form of Antoine Griezmann, a strong case can be made that he could be the difference maker, Stuart. Well, he's their leading goal scorer, mainly because of his movement, which is so clever. It's full of pace and it always threatens the back of defenders. And, of course, he's a great finisher. intuition to win it back fruitful looking attack pressing high to win the ball cuts it back could be threatening can he finish there it is and just the ideal start Yeah, here's the setup play. Well, it's a great little back here, isn't it? But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? <laughs> A 
Well timed tackle. He has time to play it over. And the keeper was always likely to do his job under no pressure. A super tackle and they've won possession. Crossed accurately towards the far post. Well, it's actually ended up being easy meet for the keeper. Can he take advantage? And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. So, 2-0 now. Tackle. Can they take advantage? And they put themselves a bit of time. He's got to score! And a powerful effort, but not... Threatening the goalkeeper, and he'll be disappointed. And the substitution will occur now. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. Will it be? Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. Well, as they kick off again, 2-1, the current state of affairs. Over the touchline for a throw-in. He's found a pocket of space. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And you've got to keep the ball a bit better than that. They might be able to get in now. And that, the piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And there's the delivery. And the corner far too close to the goalkeeper. And possession lost, intercepted. It's there for him. And touched onto the frame of the goal. And there it is. An almost intuitive piece of finishing. Well, when you see this again, I think the goalkeeper's very unlucky. He makes a good initial save, but the ball comes off of him, rebounds straight to the attacker, and the finish is excellent. No shortage of goals in this match. 3-1. Looking confident with the ball at his feet. Blanco. towards the far post really sound goalkeeping well that had to be a goal didn't it what a stop that is over it comes oh he's given us away inexplicably just fractionally wide so unfortunate Irfan Can Kavici in the perfect position to read it. Holan. Now Zinchenko. A very good tackle. The high press was very much on. 
It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. And the Schwarz-Gelben have it back now. Lorenzo Insigne. Getting in there to intercept. Well, that's a pass of high quality. Credit to them for winning back possession. Holland. This attack looks highly promising. Holland. Great opportunity. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Trying to deliver it accurately. Now the clearance, half-hearted. I think the threat has been averted. Not to be advised giving the ball away there. Takes the shot. Just couldn't get it through. Yilmaz. Lorenzo Insigne. Neymar. Now the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of... second and decisive leg of this Champions League quarter-final and the second half begins Irfan Can Kavici really getting stuck in Possession lost. Good pressure high up the pitch. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Not too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. to win the ball back high up the pitch that's great goalkeeping well what a save that is he was so alert there it's a short corner now just the tackle that was needed good work to win it back high up the pitch and tremendous individual skill. Well, his teammate got him out of trouble. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet.
was how to nullify the opposition. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. Careless in possession. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it fizzled out. Holland. This looks promising. Will he play it in? And a good-looking ball. Well, the keeper performing brilliantly. Well, that's just incredible. He reacted so quickly there. Substitution it is for Dortmund. And over it comes. Well, threat about it. Chalanoru. Well, totally confused as opponent. This looks interesting. Can he put it away? Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. Into the final 20 minutes. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Retaining possession proving difficult. It's a lovely finish, just the right side of the post. Close, but good enough. What can they do to stop them running at them? But quick thinking defensively. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Good play it in. Sadly, a bit of a tame effort, that one. And far too close to the goalkeeper. Well read to win possession back. And the referee is quite rightly letting it go. Promising looking ball. Yifan Chan Kavici. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Oh, what an opportunity. Surely... Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive. And then through and goal, he just goes to power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. He's failed to hold it, Neymar. And fed forwards. Well, that takes the wind. Well, here it is again, and you have to say, this is a very good volley. His technique is absolutely perfect. Successful intervention, winning the ball back. Oh, the threat is there. A real opening now.
chip and it had a chance. Well, it's a really good effort, but he just can't get it underneath the crossbar. Could be threatening. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Not out of the woods yet. effort was always going wide he's not going to be best pleased with himself Conor Gallagher Saka Borussia Dortmund have given it away we are going to have two additional minutes the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Levin Ustunali. And there it is, the final whistle. Victory over the two legs for Borussia Dortmund. Well, you can't say they didn't deserve it. They were by far and away the better team over the two legs, and the result was never much in doubt. I'm sure they'll face a sterner test in the next round, but they'll be full of confidence off the back.